Lisa McMillan, and we're coming to you from Dirksen and Honeybee's Delicious on the Restaurant in Bruton, Alabama. Today we're going to do our salmon croquette recipe. If I cook salmon croquettes every day and put them on the line, they will be gone every day. People love salmon croquettes. So we're going to show you how we do, our, do ours here. First of all, we chop up a little onion. You know, I'm not an expert chopper here, so if one of my fingers come off, you'll know why. Doing the best I can here. Okay. Just chop it up as small as you can get it, but you know, at no risk to yourself. <laughs> or your fingers. to let you know what we put in our salmon croquettes that so, makes them so good. And here we go, we actually have two things. So here we go. First, a green tomato. Secondly, seasoned croutons. So here we go with the green tomato. You cut in half if you wanna. small pieces. Now, green tomato to me actually doesn't have a whole lot of flavor, but it has that little oomph that put that salmon croquette right over the edge. And you don't really need a, want a whole lot of flavor flavor. Okay. Take that and put it in there. Now what we're gonna do now, we're gonna actually add a little salt and pepper to that because tomatoes especially need a little salt and pepper. Not much. Hmm. Okay, these are the salmons we use. Salmon, pink salmon. Pour it in. And now what I like to do is I like to put my hand in there and get all this stuff saturated. That's what I like to do. Mm -hmm. I don't add a, a lot more salt because I think salmon croquettes have, well, 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 it's pink salmon. I add a little flour and I add the ground up classic croutons. That means they don't have any garlic and stuff like that on them. They're just classic. They season really good, but they don't have a whole lot of extra flavors in them. And you some some good flavor. See those croutons? <clears throat> That's seasoned. And the apple and some green tomatoes. You think about green apples. The green tomatoes, well, like I said, they're not loud. So they add just a nice little flavor to it. Let them brown on one side. And um get you a little plate. Mm -hmm. Kind of mash them down. A little brown and congeal a little bit and they'll stick together. And then spread them out a little bit. Mm-hmm. 
I got to add a little more oil. I, I use olive oil. It probably takes about six or seven minutes for salmon croquettes to cook. Like it should. See how pretty and golden brown they get. And now you let the other side cook and they'll be done. And you'll be ready to enjoy some delicious salmon croquettes cooked with green tomatoes and seasoned croutons, folks. You know, what happened with the croutons? Let me tell you what happened now. This girl, Publix had a sale, buy one, get one free. She must have bought 50 bags of croutons in there. I said, what am I going to do with those croutons, all those croutons? And then I just started thinking of ways to do something with them. And this was one of the ways, and it worked out perfectly. So that's a beautiful croquette, and it tastes so good. Come down to the restaurant and get you some. So when you watch our YouTubes, if you could like us or subscribe to us, we surely would appreciate it. We're a small nonprofit, and I know everybody don't have the money to give, but you, everybody can share and like what we do here, and that'll help us a whole lot. So please do that, and we hope you try the recipe, and if you do, let us know you tried it, and let us know how it turned out. We appreciate you joining and joining us on cooking our salmon croquettes, and join us the next time. Thank you so much.